thank you for visiting Let's in RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you our factory fresh Winnebago Adventurer 35F, America's best-selling Class A gas coach in a bath and one-half floor plan with diesel pusher amenities, and it's available here at Let's in RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award, now for the past five consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford powertrain warranty in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals, in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Triton V10, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in and protect that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your walk around queen bed and eat your first meal in that benchmark dinette with the all new high low table available here at Litson RV. America's best selling class A gas coach, the Winnebago Adventurer is packed with user friendly features and more value than ever before. The 35F offers plenty of living space and ample storage whether you're planning a weekend getaway or the adventure of a lifetime. The gas-powered adventure is loaded with features and amenities typically reserved for diesel pushers, including standard full-body paint with chrome mirrors, Corian countertops, Ultra Fabrics leather furnishings, Versa driver seat, MCD solar and blackout shades, a residential refrigerator, a standard exterior entertainment center, and much more that we'll cover as we walk around the outside and then inside this bath in one half class A gas coach. If you prefer a gas coach but want diesel level amenities at a terrific value, the new adventurer is built for you. We've ordered this coach factory fresh in an all new contemporary full body base coat clear coat automotive finish. This is the Wedgwood full body premium paint scheme. As we work our way around towards the front, you'll see this coach is powered by the tried and true Ford powertrain with the all new torque shift six speed automatic transmission. Features a 6.8 liter Triton V10 boasting 460 pounds feet of torque or power. It's then made it up with the torque shift six speed automatic transmission that does include grade braking capabilities. We include safety enhancements such as four wheel anti-lock brakes. The coach does feature stylized 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels. This coach is on the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis. So we include nearly 4,200 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity from which then you would deduct for any occupants, cargo and any fresh water you may maintain on board. You'll see up front here, the largest panoramic one piece windshield in the industry just above the die cut high polished Winnebago logo up front and then down below the machined aluminum front grille. Up top just above the clearance mount lamps is where you'll see the antenna for the Sirius XM satellite radio which is a factory installed upgrade that we'll cover as we get inside. It does tie in nicely then to the oversized 10 inch multimedia radio and rear view camera monitoring system with side video cameras as well as Bluetooth connectivity. Down below, you'll see the integrated fog lamps on each side of the machined aluminum front grille. We also include the invisible front protective mask up front. Down below, you'll see the solid foundation with automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. We'll also cover that as we work our way inside. Down below our standard 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels with that upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis. You'll see the deeper, darker tint in the dual pane thermo insulated windows. Of course, standard are slide room awnings with every quality build from Winnebago Industries. We include light duty automotive conveniences included in these chromed mirror heads in which we include powered and heated 
mirrors with the top two thirds being powered and heated and the lower one third includes that parabolic wide angle technology. Great for looking at your blind spot as you change lanes. Works well in conjunction with a dinghy towed vehicle. Then underneath these mirrors is where you'll see the side video camera monitoring system. This is a factory installed option that we've included on this particular 35F. Again, that ties in nicely with the front multimedia system that we'll cover as we get inside. So you do have a total of three security cameras when you're stationary. The side video cameras are also articulated by the turn signal column as you use that turn signal. It'll automatically flip to each of those side video cameras. Underneath this die cut, high polished chrome Winnebago logo is where you'll find the 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels. The larger 22 and a half inch wheels come on any Ford chassis over 22,000 pounds. Then just behind that front axle is where you'll see the solid foundation of the standard automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. You'll also see not only with the chassis rail, but also as we work our way inside the expansive 137 cubic foot basement, you'll see all of the chassis rails and luggage compartments are e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology after undergoing an exhaustive multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrade here at Winnebago Industries. We will actually plate all of the bare exposed metal with the latest in e-coat technology to ensure no corrosion in the future. Just behind this compartment is where you'll see the hydraulic leveling pump, several 12 volt push button breakers for the automotive components. You'll see the larger bulb seal gaskets that provide for a tight whisper quiet fit and also keep that lower basement dry. Some great storage and pass through storage here. Again, 137 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. Inside this compartment is also where you'll find the 2000 watt whole coach inverter. This allows you to power household appliances directly off of the four RV batteries that we'll cover in detail here in a moment. So this is an all-in-one inverter charger. It also powers the 16 cubic foot residential refrigerator that we'll cover as we get inside. But again, that 2000 watt inverter allows you to power household appliances directly off of the four deep cycle group 31 RV batteries that you'll see inside this compartment with an easy to access tray for maintaining those Group 31 RV batteries. Again, all of these compartments then are e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology, the same process used by General Motors, Honda, and Acura. Behind this compartment then you'll see additional storage. Nice deep cavernous storage and then we actually felt line these compartments so that things won't slide around in transit. Easy to maintain pewter lines around your wheel wells for easy maintenance. You'll see the 50 amp shoreline service here is sized to power all of your household appliances simultaneously without throwing a breaker and includes the automatic transfer switch that will automatically flip over to the generator when the generator is turned on. Inside this location, you'll also see the black waste tank flush. This allows you, after draining your 92 gallon of black water capacity, you can irrigate out that tank using a non potable water hose. You can then continue with the 72 gray tank discharge to cleanse out that sewer hose. The coach does also then maintain a total freshwater capacity of 84 gallons. All of these are seamless one-piece rotocast compartments and seamless one-piece rotocast holding tanks handcrafted here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries using computer-aided design. We'll actually design our holding tanks around our floor plan as opposed to competing manufacturers that will design their floor plan and then have to purchase rotocast tanks from a supplier down the road in Elkhart, Indiana. We'll handcraft each of these You'll see the dual rear wheels with the solid foundation of the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. You can see all of the E-plating for the chassis rails and any exposed bare metal.
Just behind this is your utility center and your fuel fill for the 80 gallon fuel capacity to the coach. All of your hookups in one easy to access location with a single discharged waste outlet and a partition between the freshwater side and the drainage side. Working away from the left to the right, you'll see whole house sediment filtration for the coach inside that blue canister. In the upper left hand corner is where you'll find coaxial inputs for resort cable or for connecting a portable satellite dish. Although we'll also cover as we work our way up top on the roof, the coach is pre-wired for satellite technology using the connectivity port. There you'll see an on-demand water pump switch. An innovative freshwater diverter valve so that if you are hooked up, ready to disembark or head out on your journey, rather than unhooking the hose and using a gravity potable water fill, you can very simply throw that diverter and fill the 84 gallons of freshwater capacity. You'll see a 12 volt on-demand water pump underneath with the winterization kit and then also the exterior wash station with both hot and cold water. You can see with the freshwater manifold system, all of the lines are color coded for easy serviceability. You can see the winterization package here with the siphon hose to draw RV antifreeze should you choose to use the wet method of RV winterization. Be sure to check out our winterization videos in our video library on Litson.com. You can see the 12 volt on-demand water pump and then sliding over just to the side is where you'll find the quick port for connecting any type of a portable solar panel that you'd like to install. Keep in mind the coach is pre-wired for solar expansion. We'll cover that as we jump up atop the roof here in a moment. That there is the quick port for adding portable solar. You'll see the macerator drain pump just above the black waste tank flush inlet because we do have two different black tank locations with this being a bath and one half floor plan you'll see two different black waste tank flush inlets but again one single discharge down below each of which are color located with the gray waste tank and the black waste tank again these are the largest three and a half inch pvc in the industry for a quicker more sanitary drainage of your black and gray tank so again we have 92 total gallons of black water capacity and 72 in the gray here you can see the color coded lines for the force flow single freshwater manifold system. Using a single PEX line to each of the different locations provides for easy serviceability, but also higher water pressure. So again, that is the force flow freshwater manifold system. Now, as we zoom back out, we'll cover one nice sweeping shot of this beautiful contemporary Wedgwood full body premium automotive paint package. It includes the easier to maintain pewter lines down below. Each of those windows are the deeper, darker tint for the dual pane thermo insulated windows. You can see the latest in slide out technology with these being the power gear slim rack slide outs. And of course, standard are the slide room awnings up top. Just above that utility center is where you'll also see the exhausting for the washer and dryer, a factory installed option that is equipped on this 35F. You'll also see the dual pane side hung window for the spacious rear full bath. This is located just above the toilet and opposite Winnebago's branded big shower, which is an oversized 36 by 36 inch shower. A beautiful one-piece fiberglass end cap with a rear ladder that brings you up to Winnebago's proprietary crowned, interlapped and interlocked one-piece fiberglass roof. Just above that high mount brake lamp is where you'll see the color rear view camera monitoring system. Again, that ties into the front 10 inch multimedia radio and rear view camera and side video camera monitoring system. That is adjustable in terms of the swivel in which it pitches, but keep in mind we do set that as part of our quality pre-delivery inspection on every RV to be the toe of the hitch with one car length back. Makes it easy to change lanes or to keep an eye on any dinghy towed vehicle or utility trailer. Here you can see the exterior shower to gain rooftop access. And then as we work our way down, keep in mind this coach does have the full 5,000 pound factory installed tow package. This is also then equipped with a seven blade bargeman wiring harness.
Again, a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package with the seven pin bargeman wiring harness. Again, this hitch then is also e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology. Off to the right, you'll see the exhausting for the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 80 gallon fuel capacity. Again, that and the 50 amp electrical service are sized to power all of the 110 volt appliances inside the coach simultaneously without throwing a breaker. And now, unlike any dealership here in North America, we're gonna elevate up to show you all of the quality proprietary components atop this one piece laminate block foam roof with a one piece fiberglass membrane, a quality advantage that we've been using here at Winnebago Industries for over 60 years. Also a nice sneak preview there to the opposing slide out inside the bedroom and the depth to that expansive 16 foot powered patio awning. Work our way from the rear to the front. You'll see the skylight for the oversized big shower at 36 by 36 inches. You'll see the 12 volt powered ventilator fan for the rear full bath off to the driver's side. Then you'll also see each of the True Comfort maximum air conditioning system units. Each of these are high efficiency 13.5 BTU low profile air conditioners with the integrated AC heat kit. You'll also see the exhaust fan then for the half bath as well as the solar prep. This includes the solar charge controller being installed. So very simply adding plug and play solar panels up top or using the portable. Very simple to expand if you need that. Again, the main goal of that would be to recharge those four Deep Cycle Group 31 RV batteries. Be sure to check out our Solar RV 101 video in our video library on Litson.com. Just forward of that, then you'll see the vent for the main living area, the second 13.5 BTU high efficiency air conditioning unit, and the omnidirectional fixed mass local off-air high definition antenna that allows you to bring in your entire free local off-air high definition programming from inside the RV. Since it is a fixed mast antenna, you no longer have to worry about cranking that antenna up, but more importantly, forgetting to crank it back down. You'll also see the antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio, which is equipped inside that front multimedia head unit that we'll cover as we get inside the cockpit. Also, you'll see the connectivity port so that we can add any type of Wi-Fi booster or cellular 4G LTE booster through that connectivity port. Also, be sure to check out our Connectivity 101 videos in our video library on Litson.com, as well as check out our Satellite RV 101 video if you're a satellite watcher, in which we can equip any of the three types of satellite technology for you. Also, be sure to check out on our parts page an interactive multimedia satellite antenna finder tool in which we can pinpoint the right satellite provider as well as the right satellite antenna for your RV needs. And now as we wrap up atop the roof, we'll work our way back towards ground level and cover some more specifications to the coach. The RV is 35 feet, five inches long. It is a wide body at eight and a half feet and 12 feet, five inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the adventurer. And now as we work our way down towards ground level, we'll wrap up with the balance of 137 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. To the very rear, you'll see the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator that will sip fuel off of the top three quarters of that 80 gallon fuel capacity. Just above that, you'll see the slide out with the slim rack technology for the power gear slide out system. In a great shot here of that Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator. Does tie in with that automatic transfer switch in conjunction with the 50 amp electrical service. It'll automatically flip over to the generator when the generator is turned on. So you can simply stow and go with that 50 amp shoreline service. You can see we continue with the E coating and plating for all of the luggage compartments and the tighter bulb seal gaskets. Great storage here inside this compartment. Again, felt lined and E-coated. Again, 137 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. Each of these compartments are well lit. And of course, throughout the RV, we do use 
LED lighting, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to incandescent or halogen lighting. Just forward of this, then you'll also see the second 12 volt on-demand water pump and a great sneak preview there to the seamless one piece rotocast holding and freshwater tanks. This also includes the true level holding tank monitoring system in which we invest in sonar sensors on the outsides of those one piece rotocast tanks as opposed to drilling through those tanks that are purchased from a third party supplier using probes like competing manufacturers that potentially can leak, corrode, or provide false readings over time. Just forward of this compartment that does include that seamless one-piece rotocast tank is where you'll see the manifold LP system. This does include an 18 gallon LP capacity, primarily used for an LPG gas grill connect or for the 40,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace. Just above here, you'll see the exhausting for that 40,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace, as well as access for the ice maker component to that residential refrigerator package. Again, just a beautiful contemporary Wedgwood, contemporary full body base coat, clear coat automotive finish. You'll see the exhausting for the 10 gallon gas and electric water heater and standard now is this, the exterior entertainment center, which does include a high definition television along with the AM FM stereo that does include Bluetooth connectivity. So this is a 32 inch high definition television, dual speakers, an AM FM stereo and DVD player with Bluetooth connectivity so you can pair up your smartphone or tablet to listen to all of your downloaded music as well as audio apps such as the Sirius XM satellite radio app, Spotify, Pandora or radio app one. Additional pass-through storage. This is the opposite side that you saw where the 2000 watt inverter converter is located. But again, pass-through storage and all of those electrical components there are shielded and then also provide for ventilation. Here you'll see a quick port that allows you to bring in an extension cord or any type of household appliance into that convenient 110 volt outlet for all of your patio components. Standard is the tri-step entry step. Again, needed because we do have the 22 and a half inch tire, so it does provide for easier access. Here you'll see the pet pal, which is convenient for tying out a pet or for securing high-end bicycles. Also keep in mind this entry door, unique to Winnebago using our proprietary quality build is cut out of the same sheet of sidewall for a tighter whisper quiet fit. Here you'll see the security curb view access window. Some people will refer to this as the doggy window, but it's a great location for providing visibility when maneuvering in a rearward position if you're traveling solo. A great shot here to the we can also adjust the pitch to this awning. So if you'd like one end of it to be slightly lower for sunsets or to have morning dew or nominal rain run off away from your entry door to keep your 35F nice and clean, we can certainly accommodate that for you. This also includes the upgraded acrylic fabric that allows the area underneath this patio area to breathe to keep your patio area cooler. A courtesy LED light then is included also right near your entry door with that large window opposite the galley area with the screen door and that cut out of that screen door and entry door out of the same sheet of fiberglass used with the Asdell composite fiberglass sidewalls. And now as we work our way inside this bath and one half floor plan, we'll cover one sweeping shot of the floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail. We've ordered this coach in an all new interior. 
This is the canvas linen with glazed driftwood hardwood cabinetry and the light ultra fabrics leather collection. A very successful floor plan that we've used for years because it does include a very popular bath and one half floor plan. With diesel pusher amenities such as Corian countertops, a spacious galley or kitchen, an innovative all new benchmark dinette with the high low table, contemporary one piece sheet of vinyl flooring front to rear allows you to literally swiffer this coach out in a matter of seconds. This driftwood cabinetry then also provides an 80 plus sheen level. The hybrid cooktop allows for induction cooking and LP. A wonderful entertainment armoire with an electric fireplace. A half bath located conveniently right near your main living area. A true walk around queen bed that is 60 by 80 inches. This is not a short queen like other RV manufacturers use. A hardwood pocket door then provides ease of access to the spacious rear master bath that includes Winnebago's branded big shower with a 36 by 36 inch shower surround. A large spacious master bath with a large wardrobe closet opposite the foot of the bed with an entertainment armoire located mid bedroom. The second of the dual high efficiency ducted air conditioning units. We'll cover each of these areas in more detail as we walk our way through the interior of the Adventure 35F. A spacious extendable sectional sofa also includes dual safety belts and converts into the second sleeping surface. This benchmark dinette includes an innovative all new high low table that can be used as a standing workstation. It can be used as an additional prep surface for the kitchen or galley. Up front, we include Ultra Fabrics Primera leather seats both of which rotate to become integral lounge chairs. The driver's seat then features the Versa swivel mechanism for 360 degree swiveling without having to jack with that steering wheel. We've upgraded the driver's seat to be a power driver's seat and upgraded the passenger seat to include the flip out ottoman footrest. And now let's cover each of the main living areas in more detail. Inside this nearly full wall slide out, we include a nice deep slide out with contemporary 80 plus sheen glazed driftwood cabinetry, hardwood cabinetry, which is manufactured here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries in house using computer aided design so that not only can we maximize interior storage, we can minimize tolerances and fit and finish, which long term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing manufacturers that have to purchase their cabinetry from third party suppliers. A large pantry area is located just to the right of that benchmark dinette with the high low table. This can be used for additional pantry space if needed. You can see the homeowner's bag that includes all of the owner's manuals. This is also split with this pantry to carry heavier goods. Again, taking advantage of that computer aided design, we're gonna place storage anywhere that we can for you. Overhead then a full bank of glazed driftwood cabinetry with the 80 plus sheen level. Decorative window balances are included along with the dual pane thermo insulated windows and true MCD American duo night and solar shades. These are not knockoff slow rise blinds like competing manufacturers use. These are true MCD proprietary shades that revolutionized the industry back in 2010. Each very simply glide up with a gentle tug. You can adjust the speed at which they rise up and you can also preset a set height. So if you like one of those shades to always recess to the certain location, we can accommodate that for you. A beautiful contemporary rich full style colored wallboard continues throughout the entire RV. You can see that to the left of this side hung dual pane thermal insulated windows. We don't seam in lesser quality boards in certain areas such as competing manufacturers to trip ourselves over pennies and nickels. This is the same contemporary rich full style colored wallboard. Inside this benchmark dinette, you'll find a 110 volt outlet as well as multiple 12 volt power points for recharging your smartphones, tablets, and also then providing a spacious workstation. 
This is a true benchmark dinette, which means each of the cushions glide up on a piano hinge to access and reveal every square inch of storage underneath this dinette area. It does include two forward facing safety belts and one rearward facing safety belt. In conjunction then with the dual safety belts that are included in the sectional sofa, the coach has a seven seating position with safety belts, but again, keep in mind that's only required for people forward of the B pillar, but it does include a total of seven safety belts in the 35F. This also then converts into the first of three dedicated sleeping surfaces at 42 by 73 inches. This innovative new high-low table provides a great standing work desk. If you need that capability, it includes a great prep surface, which is at the same height as that kitchen or countertop. Provides great storage with integrated cup holders just behind. It also then glides down and clasps into place so that you don't have things bouncing around in transit. The slide out trim now also includes the same high endurant one piece sheet of vinyl flooring front to rear in which we then set our walls and cabinetry atop that to eliminate any risk of splits compared to competing manufacturers that still will seam in their vinyl flooring to save nickels and dimes, but then also have to rely on the structure of the walls in the floor plan to provide support to the coach. This coach could be built as a standalone shell with Winnebago's patented superstructure steel tubular construction. Even that front windshield is then mounted into the front steel superstructure of the cab. All of our appliances and cabinets then are mounted in the steel studs within the superstructure. But again, we do not rely on the structure from the walls to provide that structure to the coach. Each of those walls and cabinets then are set atop one continuous sheet of upgraded vinyl flooring front to rear to minimize maintenance and to eliminate risks of splits. A spacious kitchen and galley also includes the flip up countertop extension, a full bank of overhead driftwood cabinetry, with full drawer stacks down below made possible because overhead we have the microwave and convection oven. Up top here you'll see the first of the dual 13.5 BTU low profile high efficiency ducted air conditioning units that do include AC heat pumps. This also includes the chill grill technology so that if you return to your RV and it's overly warm you can open up those additional louvers to rapidly cool the coach. Fresh air, cold air intakes allow you to cleanse out those filters very easily. Here you'll see the Max Air powered ventilator fan for the kitchen or galley exhaust area. We do include the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling with all of the forced air outputs to rapidly cool the coach and to provide whisper quiet ambiance. You can see that 80 plus sheen level now to those driftwood cabinets a full bank of storage cabinets located overhead. Sliding over, this is the largest Class A style microwave and convection oven. This allows you to bake brown and roast just like a traditional oven, yet it allows us to free up that full drawer stack underneath the hybrid cooktop. Of course, we include all of the accessories that you'll need for microwave convection cooking. So be sure to check out our microwave convection cooking classes in our video library on Litson.com, as well as a live interactive monthly presentation in which we invited a pair of chefs that were taking delivery of their factory fresh coaches here at Litson RV to do a microwave convection cooking class for us. This innovative hybrid cooktop allows for induction cooking as well as LP range top cooking. The induction cookware off to the left provides the safest in flush countertop cooking. It will not heat up until it senses the induction cookware atop the induction cooktop so it's very safe, especially if you have pets that may jump up on the counters. Provides for more countertop space and is the most efficient way of flush mount cooking. It's also dropped into stainless steel for easy cleanup and also includes that range top off to the right for LP cooking. 
Off to the right, you'll see the stainless steel side splash. This is the high polished, high luster DuPont Corian countertops with a side hung dual pane thermal insulated window, convenient 110 volt outlet for galley cooking. We then also then include the sink top covers out of a different material to ensure that light kind properties in that Corian don't scratch. A large undermount stainless steel dual basin sink provides for easy maintenance and easy cleaning, especially in conjunction with the satin nickel high rise gooseneck style faucet. The single control faucet also includes an integrated pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. And of course, underneath the sink area, we include the water purification system option with residential style cartridges that are easily found to replace at any major home improvement store. Of course, we expand that countertop even further with the flip up countertop extension. Underneath this location, then we have well articulated light switches for each of the lighting areas. The screen door with an easy to access entry handle. Here you'll also find the ZAMP solar charge controller, which is now standard as part of the solar prep. So you can include a portable solar panel in the quick port that you saw outside of the RV or the plug and play panels rooftop that are pre-wired and pre-wired into the Group 31 RV batteries. Again, the main goal of this would be to charge those Group 31 RV batteries that also then are powered off of the 2000 watt inverter. Here you'll see controls for the 16 foot powered patio awning as well as the LED light switch. And then also disconnect switches for both the chassis starting battery and those four Group 31 RV batteries. This will ensure no parasitic draw when you place the coach in storage. Here you'll see several 12 volt push button breakers as well as your 110 volt panel intentionally mounted in this location so that you have natural outdoor lighting coming into your step well in the event that you need to restore a tripped breaker. Again, solid driftwood cabinetry with contemporary hardware. Inside the step well, an easy to access entry handle. Here you can see the flip up countertop extension. Great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with those side hung windows and the Max Air powered ventilator fan with that screen door. Again, the water purification is under sink. And then also you can see the full drawer stacks and with all of our drawer stacks here at Winnebago Industries, we do use full length extensions as well as metal drawer glides as opposed to competing manufacturers that still continue to use plastic drawer glides to save nickels and dimes in conjunction with not providing full length extensions. Here you'll see the large stainless steel residential refrigerator and freezer with the integrated ice maker. This is a large 16 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator and freezer. And as we take a look at the adjustable bins and shelves, we'll also cover the specifications to the coach. This adventure is 35 feet, five inches in length. It is a wide body at eight and a half feet. It's 12 feet, five inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the RV. Interior wise, we then also provide a six foot, eight inch interior ceiling height. 84 gallons of total freshwater capacity, 72 in the gray, 92 in the black and an 80 gallon fuel capacity provides for an estimated cruising range just under 800 miles. We have an 18 gallon LP capacity and a 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. Again, this residential refrigerator and freezer does power off of the 2000 watt whole coach inverter, which allows you to power household appliances on select outlets throughout the RV, directly off of the quad deep cycle group 31 RV batteries. Off to the right then, a spacious armoire is included right at the base of that extendable sectional and sofa. A full bank of overhead driftwood cabinetry is included with LED recessed lighting. We continue with the decorative window valances and the MCD American Duo Night and Solar Shades over the dual pane thermal insulated windows. This extendable sectional sofa is out of the Ultra Fabrics Primera leather. It does include two side-facing safety belts, 
and conveniently converts into the second of three dedicated sleeping surfaces at 48 by 77 inches. The beauty of this Primera leather is it is very weather temperative, meaning not so hot in the summer and not so cold during the winter. It's soft, supple, easy to care for, but since it is synthetic leather, you can be fairly aggressive in terms of your cleaning. Then opposite this home theater style extendable sectional sofa, we have the entertainment armoire, which includes a 39 inch high definition television. It also includes the electric fireplace, which really provides a tremendous amount of front living heat. You can see the forced air, cold air intake for the furnace off to the left. Overhead then we have controls to hook up additional audio video components, but we'll showcase over the entry door how we do have connections for that entertainment armoire. Conveniently tucked behind a cabinet, we have Winnebago's patented one place panel with all of your gauges in one easy to access location including controls for the dual front slide outs, as well as controls for the gas and electric water heater. The true level holding tank monitoring system, again, that includes the true level sonar ultrasonic sensors on the outsides of those one piece rotocast tanks. We won't drill through like other RV manufacturers do using probes, which can potentially leak corrode or provide false readings over time. We also have another 12 volt on-demand water pump, controls for the 2000 watt whole coach inverter charger. Battery readouts off to the right then are also included. And then Winnebago's patented power line energy management system. So that if you have to downshed to 30 amp, 20 amp or 15 amp service, this will manage your power for you so that you don't trip a breaker at your RV resort, RV campground or at your home. It will automatically turn appliances off and then once power is restored, we'll automatically turn those back on. What's unique about Winnebago's system is they are all individually wired to the power line system and not daisy chained together like competing manufacturers. Here you see the holding tank monitoring system as well as the battery readouts. Also your LP readout. And then down below the Cummins own an automatic generator start system. This allows you to configure this so that if your RV batteries get low, it'll automatically turn the generator, recharge those batteries, and then turn the generator back off. You can also preset this so that if you do have pets on board, so that anytime you lose shoreline service, it'll automatically kick that generator on to keep your pets safe. But finally, you can do all of this through on or off generator hours with time adjustable settings. Here you'll see that 39 inch high definition television ties in nicely to the entertainment armoire. And then just underneath the television, you'll see additional 110 volt outlets and HDMI cabling for additional audio visual components. And then down below an electric fireplace with an adjustable flame and thermostat provides for wonderful front heating area. This will conserve LP It'll run off of the electricity that you've already paid for at your resort, but really provides a tremendous amount of heat to the front living area. Then located just behind this entertainment armoire is the first of two different bathrooms, this half bath. This includes the same contemporary wallboard, a residential height style toilet, a side hung dual pane thermal insulated window with a driftwood hardwood valance and then overhead a sealed 12 volt powered ventilator fan. So you don't have to invest in a max air powered ventilator fan cover. It is sealed from the top. You could leave this open in transit to provide fresh air ventilation. Down below then we include the mirrored medicine cabinet and we provide all of the accessories that you'll need in both baths. We don't force you to go out and purchase those like other RV manufacturers. So we include the tissue holders, the towel bars, the wall mirrors, the medicine cabinets. Down below then you'll see 
a dual control lavatory faucet. We haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket inside the bath underneath the sink area. And then inside this half bath, we also include a true porcelain toilet with a foot pedal flush and a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning of that toilet, which is set at residential height. Here you can see the same quality hardwood contemporary driftwood cabinetry, all set atop that one piece sheet of endurant vinyl flooring. So even this half bath does include that residential height porcelain toilet. Again, amenities that you'd find in diesel pushers in a high-end class A gas coach. Now sliding out of the half bath, we'll work our way inside the master bedroom with a true 60 by 80 inch queen bed. We'll stop first and cover each of the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system thermostats. This first one for the front main living area includes controls for the front zone of the dual True Air Maximum Comfort Air Conditioning System with dual AC heat pumps. It also then ties in nicely to that 40,000 BTU low profile ducted furnace so it will assist the heat pumps in the event that it's too cold outside or if they need to catch up. A true hardwood pocket door provides access inside this master bedroom with the second high efficiency ducted air conditioning unit again with the chill grill technology mounted directly into that vinyl padded ceiling with LED recessed lighting. Of course, all of your detectors are included, including the carbon monoxide detector in the master bedroom, the smoke alarm inside the front living area, and the LP detector, which is mounted down low and hardwired into the Group 31 RV batteries. A full bank of overhead driftwood cabinetry is included with a padded headboard. And then on each side of that walk around queen bed, we include nightstands with additional storage and hookups to charge, of course, your smartphones and tablets. This queen bed includes a foam mattress with storage below. This will also then prop up on a gas strut to provide ease of access to all of this storage located underneath that walk around queen bed. Again, felt lines so that things are not going to slide around in transit. It will prop up on that gas strut and then very simply glides back down. A padded headboard is included and the nightstands on each side with storage underneath. A great location to plug in with the 110 volt or the 12 volt power point, your smartphone or tablet. Conveniently also accessible then for adding a CPAP or BPAP machine. Again, we continue to use the same contemporary faux style colored wallboard, a nice hidden compartment there for additional storage. The top bottom dual pane windows on each side provide for great fresh air ventilation. Again, the same nightstands are included on each side with additional 110 volt and 12 volt USB power points to charge your smartphone or tablet. Nice deep storage is included in each of these nightstands on each side of the true 60 by 80 inch walk around queen bed. Then at the foot of the bed, you'll see two spacious wardrobe closets with an entertainment vanity and storage armoire located between each of those wardrobe cabinets. Overhead, we include a 32 inch high definition television with the second heating, ventilation and air conditioning system thermostat. Full drawer stacks are included down below. Again, these are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. Within each of these wardrobe closets, you'll see several of the accessories that ship for your coach, including the location for the removable pedestal table, which you saw in between the front lounge chairs up front from the cockpit area.
in full length extensions on those drawer stacks for foldable clothing. Inside underneath this television, yet again, additional storage. We also include the hookups then with 110 volt outlets and HDMI digital cabling if you'd like to connect a Blu-ray player, a fire stick, or additional satellite connectivity equipment to the rear. And then overhead atop the vanity is that additional 32 inch high definition television. Sliding over then again, that's that second heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system thermostat. Just to the left inside this wardrobe closet is actually where you'll find the factory installed upgrade of the washer and dryer with storage located overhead which is a great location to store accessories that you'll need for your washer and dryer. This is the updated and upgraded Splendid 2100 series XC washer and dryer with the stainless steel drum. So if you do go to campgrounds or resorts with rustic water you have the whole house sediment filter outside but also the stainless steel drum will provide for long term endurance. So great storage, but also includes the washer and dryer. That does function off of the 50 amp shoreline cord or when running the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator. Again, you'll find a true hardwood pocket door to the spacious master bath with full access underneath for storage, a mirrored area overhead, additional linen or medicine cabinet storage, and then up top, you'll see yet again another 12 volt power ventilator fan with a sealed hood so that you don't have to worry about rainfall penetrating your adventurer, but also you can leave that open in transit. You can see the 80 plus sheen level to that driftwood cabinetry, along with driftwood hardwood window valances. So a great medicine cabinet with adjustable shelving could be used as a linen closet, but there is some great storage underneath the countertop. 110 volt outlet is included for convenient use with lavatory appliances. Another dual control lavatory faucet is included inside this master bath with the same rich full style colored wallboard, very easy to clean. Great countertop space here in this full master bath. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for an additional waste paper basket underneath. A full length drawer extension is included off to the right with additional storage above near. Yet again, another porcelain toilet with a foot pedal flush and a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning with a modified elongated bowl all set at residential height. We also include a 12 volt on demand water pump switch near the toilet so that if you do use the facilities and forgot to turn the water pump on, you can still clean your hands before you leave the bath. Then towards the patio side, you'll see Winnebago's branded big shower, which is a 36 by 36 inch shower surround. An overhead skylight provides for beautiful indirect lighting as well as additional height clearance for our taller guests. You can see all that lighting will come through, but people can't see in. A flexible handheld shower head allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water if you're RVing off the grid or just stopping overnight. A one piece pan and a one piece surround provides for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. And then we wrap all of this with a textured glass shower door. So some wonderful residential luxurious trims inside the master bath, as well as the half bath up front. You can lock that shower door in place for transit. And then again, we can provide privacy with that sliding hardwood pocket door. Now, as we work our way back up front, you can see the 
convex nature to that roof line. Beautiful soft white LED recessed light fixtures. You can see all of the overhead storage, which is readily accessible. Overhead, the cockpit area. Each of these Ultra Fabrics Primera leather seats will rotate to become integral lounge chairs. Additional storage is located just above that entry door with that drop down storage cabinet. So some great storage is included up top, which is accessible now. This does not have the studio loft bed, but still has the capability of sleeping for six, but provides all of that access to that storage along with the dual speakers for the front cockpit area. Here you can see the connectivity location. For any King Control device or any Wi-Fi booster, cellular 4G LTE booster, we can also equip any of the three types of satellite technology for you. Off to the right, then you'll see MCD drop-down shades for the driver and the passenger, but covering that panoramic one-piece windshield is a powered MCD shade that we'll showcase here in a moment. This cabinet overhead does include a positive lock latching mechanism, and then we'll drop down even with one hand, and it'll glide down to provide access for audio-visual hookups, for satellite receivers, auxiliary components, and then also the 12-volt local off-air booster switch for the omnidirectional fixed mass local off-air high definition antenna that you saw as we were atop the roof of the 35F. It then claps into place and then you can lock it down. Map lights or reading lights are included for the passenger as well as the driver off to the left. Three-point safety belts are included for safety enhancements as well as four-wheel anti-lock brakes. We've upgraded the driver's seat to include the Versa driver's seat with driver's six-way power assist. Each of the seats swivel. They feature dual position armrest, fixed lumbar support, and they multi-adjustable slide, recline, and swivel. Here you can see the removable pedestal table. You saw the storage location in the rear. Again, these are the Primera leather front seats, so very comfortable, very supple, very weather temperative, and you can also be fairly aggressive in cleaning. We include light duty automotive conveniences up front, including tilt and cruise control. You can see the instrumentation cluster for the forward side of those instrumentation controls. Overhead, we include the auxiliary defroster fans, which are a factory installed upgrade for that panoramic one piece windshield. But we also include MCD blackout roller shades for the driver and passenger window. And then up front, we include a powered MCD blackout roller visor shade. This will run all the way front to down, all the way down towards the dash to provide a great thermal break. But it's also a multifunctional sun visor. So if you're traveling alone or if your passenger is asleep, you can still use those sun visors as the sun goes down or comes up. Here you'll see controls for the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks, controls for the headlamps, as well as the emergency brake. Off to the left end, you'll see the auxiliary battery boost switch so that if your chassis battery does get low, you can jumpstart that off of the four Deep Cycle Group 31 RV batteries. Integrated cup holders on each side of the driver's seat with multiple 12 volt power points. You'll see controls down below for the auxiliary defroster fans and the ability to run this multimedia system off of the house or the RV batteries, which is multifunctional when you're at a location so that you can use the Sirius XM satellite radio. This 10 inch Bluetooth multimedia radio and rear view camera monitoring system includes the color rear view camera controls for the side video cameras. It does include the Sirius XM satellite radio option that we've included as well as auxiliary and USB inputs and Bluetooth connectivity to pair up your smartphone or tablet for not only hands-free calling, but for voice guidance in Apple Maps or Google Maps. There you can see the rear view camera. You can also dedicate that to the side cameras or they are articulated off of the turn signal column. With that Bluetooth connectivity, you can also pair up your smartphone or tablet to listen to all of your downloaded music, audiobooks, 
or audio apps such as Spotify, Pandora, Radio App One, or even the SiriusXM satellite radio app if you have another vehicle. The online access is now included complimentary and you don't have to pay for a se second subscription inside your RV. We wrap all of this with a pearled colored carbon fiber instrument panel applique package. You'll see multiple cup holders just atop the doghouse for the engine access cover, complete heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. And then sliding over to the right, you'll see a dash workstation with USB and 12 volt power points underneath and it provides a hardwood workstation for the passenger, which works out great for reading, for using a laptop, all of which are in transit as you travel down the road or if you're stationary and had a beautiful view outside of that panoramic one-piece windshield. You can also see then down below underneath that workstation is where the curb view security access window is. Some people will refer to that as the doggy window. Cup holders are included overhead as well as a switch for the overhead map or reading lamp a map light for in travel or a reading lamp as you use this as an integral lounge chair to the RV. Also, we've upgraded the passenger seat to include the flip out ottoman, which can also be used in transit. fire extinguisher conveniently located right near your entry door. And all of this is encased in Winnebago's proprietary quality build with that superstructure steel tubular construction, having been drop tested for the safest RV in the RV industry. So as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I wanna take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you our factory fresh Winnebago Adventurer 35F, available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for the past five consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford powertrain in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlined inside their owner's manuals in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Triton V10, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your walk around queen bed, and eat that first meal in your factory fresh benchmark dinette, available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson, and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as to points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees with purchasing in the state of Iowa as a customer will pay their tax, title, and license in which the state that they register their RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. As you can see, we help people day in and day out all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. Due to our close proximity to Winnebago factory, we're able to take advantage of cost savings over other RV dealerships. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We offer free, thorough walk-arounds with our guests at the time of delivery, where we take as much time as needed for our guests to understand every function, maintenance, and warranty item of their RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filter fresh water, and electrical hookups, whether they're here to take delivery of their new RV or just passing through for service. We work with several different lenders 
in order to secure you the most competitive rates and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa.